If you want to use your GoPro chest mount with your road bike and see something besides your knees and the pavement quickly rushing by underneath you, this is really what you have to do. Um, as you can see, the, the camera seems to be pointed at a pretty extreme angle, but you have to think about when you're, when you're in the, on the hoods or in the drops, your, your body, your torso is going to be tilted forward and um, it needs to be at approximately this kind of an angle. So when, when, you, when it's on your chest and you're looking down, it, it looks like it's pointing at, up at an extreme angle. But this is really what you have to do to get something beside your knees and the pavement under you when you're using this thing. So this is the newer GoPro chest mount. I also have the old one. It's even more challenging getting it to work with the old one, but um, anyways, what I did here is this is just two little pieces of GoPro accessories that I kind of cobbled together. I happen to have a screw of just the right length of threads to put in here so I don't have another knob sticking out, and um, that's basically it. I'm using the GoPro Hero 3 Silver here just in this case just because it makes it easier to see the angle and, and such. So that's pretty much what you got to do. I have not tried a gimbal, but um, this, this works pretty well. And recently I, I acquired this newer GoPro and uh, with the video stabilization that works really nice because when you're doing video and you're, you're on a bumpy road, you know it's not doing this, it's, it's very stable. So it's an improvement over to Hero 3, which I have been using for several years. And uh, so anyways, that's what you got to do. And um, it's relatively easy to, to do, it's just you got to get the right parts for it. So um, hopefully that will help you get better videos on your road bike. So.